you can say that again. Okay, so two years ago now, pretty much to the day, I ran the New York Marathon. I tried to run it in under three hours and 30 minutes, which is just about eight minute miles the whole way. Now, unfortunately, I say unfortunately, I ran it in three hours and 35 minutes, which is good, but I was a bit disappointed. So I'm back again two years later, and this time, I really hope I can beat 3.30. This little bridge here, somewhere, is where the marathon actually starts. It's the Verrazano Bridge, and it's like the first two miles of the marathon. The first mile is basically uphill. So I ran it in like nine minutes, 20 or 30. It basically means you have to make up at least a minute 30 throughout the rest of your run. The New York Marathon visits all five New York boroughs, and that, that is the bridge that connects Staten Island to Brooklyn. I mean, not the most ideal start to the race, but it's a good bridge. Right, so now as you can see, we're on Brooklyn Bridge. It starts all the way over there, and then basically for the next 10 miles, you just run all the way through Brooklyn up into Queensboro. But that, that's a long stint, that's about 10 miles. Yeah, I know, fuck it, bro. Right, so we have stopped off in Williamsburg. East Williamsburg? East Williamsburg. East yeah. Williamsburg. Matt, uh, videographer, photographer extraordinaire. Um, so we've just stopped off at his place. This is about 11 miles into the marathon. Uh, it's about like two, three miles before you get to Queens, where you cross the bridge into Manhattan. So by this time, it's coming up to like half marathon way. You shouldn't really feel tired at this point if you run like 10 seconds quicker than your normal time over the next like 10 miles, like very steadily increase your pace. Then by this point, I'll be on pace. Fingers crossed, that should work. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hop onto some bikes and just explore the area. I'm back, we're back from the bike ride. To be fair, that's actually my marathon warm up done now. My legs are warm, so. And then we just did the, I think it was about the eight mile to around the 11, 12 mile stretch. I'm gonna go to the Upper East Side. I need to do a podcast, but also that is where once you get off the Queensboro Bridge, you then basically just run in a straight line up First Avenue North, six miles of just steady flat, Race. I'm not gonna be able to walk there in time, so I'm just gonna get the subway. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll see you soon, bro. Yeah. Have a good day. Oh, you too. Thanks. Right, I just did a podcast with these guys. That's, That's Alex. Up. That's Reza. A nice distraction from today because there's been a lot of traveling. Okay, so this is mile 24. I have to be here by the latest three hours and 10 minutes, really. But hopefully I made up my time from around mile 14 to mile 20 up into the Bronx. The only thing is, is that from mile 20 to 24, right to this point, is that it's pretty much uphill. It's really, really slowly, steadily uphill. And also around there, literally around there, is where I overtook Kevin Hart two years ago. Hilarious. Okay, I don't, I don't like how many people are out here training and I'm not. Yeah, I'm walking the last two miles of the marathon through Central Park. And I don't remember it being this hilly, to be fair. 
This guy, he's definitely running on Sunday. I thought the marathon was on until Sunday. This is weird. So I don't know what all that was, but basically, yeah, that is the finish line. That is 26.2 miles, so by that point, I've done the marathon. Fingers crossed, I've done it in under three hours and 30 minutes. I think I've detailed how I'm gonna do it. Main thing, just avoid the wall. The mile 20 to 24, gradually uphill, I just need to pace myself for that. Apart from that, run it, enjoy it. 7.45 to 7.30 is the time I'm going for. Fingers crossed I can get it, we'll see. Anyway, I've got security coming, okay. Uh, see you guys.